Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back for another streaming overlay tutorial about how to create your very own animated RGB overlay so it's all fancy and glowy and multicolored, just like your favorite RGB hardware inside of your computer. And the answer is it's actually pretty easy to do this. All you really need is access to a program like Premiere, which can export the type of video files that we need, and a pre-made overlay like the one that I created and shared with you last tutorial, like I've got here. So I've already exported this as a transparent PNG, so that we've got a little cutout here where the footage would be, where our webcam would be. And I'm just gonna import that into my work file for Premiere by hitting Control I to import that, just finding the image over here. And then I'm going to create a new layer, a little new sequence that's 1920 by 1080 or whatever aspect ratio you'd like for your overlay to be. It can be bigger or smaller depending on your needs. And I've got a basic YouTube 60 FPS preset I've made. We're gonna call this the RGB overlay tutorial. And I'm going to drag the RGB image in here so we can see it. Everything looks to be in order. And I'm gonna make this image by dragging it from the side. 30 seconds long or so. We can also go to right click speed slash duration and make sure that it is in fact set to 30 seconds exactly. We'll be very exacting with our RGB nonsense. And we need to start changing this thing's color. So over here in the effects panel, we've got a change color filter. It's pretty bland and straightforward as it gets. If you don't have this window, you can go to window and click on effects and just search for change. And I'm gonna say change color and just drag it right on top of this layer. From here, I'm gonna use this eyedropper under the effect to select the color that I'd like to change. It doesn't really matter where you click so long as it's a color. And then we're going to animate the hue transformation setting, which is going to change the physical color. And we're gonna start out at zero at the beginning of our clip. And we're gonna click on this little stopwatch, which now means that this is being animated. If we move the timeline and do something, it'll save a keyframe and slowly change from point A to point B as you watch. Then we're gonna drag it all the way to the end of the timeline. And we're going to add the number 1080, which is just 360 degrees times four. Or is it, no, it's three, I think. And so basically what this is going to do is it changes it in degrees around the color wheel. So it's at 360 degrees, it starts at yellow and goes through all the other colors and then ends at yellow again. And then just to make sure it's very smooth, but still at a good pace, I've done that several times over the course of 30 seconds so that it's not a very short clip that looks like it's stuttering as it loops, like say a five second animation can sometimes do if you've got a laggy computer or connection. But uh, it still, you know, goes the full cycle several times. Now, if we watch this, if I open up this really big, this looks pretty good. It's, uh, you know, it's changing the color on the edges. It's slowly and smoothly doing that. But if we stop right here, there is a little bit of a bleed problem along the edges. And that's just the nature of the beast, the way that we made this. So to avoid that, we're going to try to adjust the tolerance or how close the color is to the one that I sampled before it stops trying to change stuff. We're gonna bump that up to like, let's say 30. What's 30 gonna do for me? 30 is slightly better, but it's still got a lot of white. Let's try that again. Let's bump this up to 40, maybe. That might be what we're looking for. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. We could roll with that, but I kind of want that to be fully colored is the only problem. And the other half of that problem Whoops, what did I just do? Just close that. The other half of the problem is that if I go any further in the tolerance than this, it's gonna change every color in the overlay, which is only a slight problem because I've got a YouTube logo on here and a Twitter logo. <laughs> so as long as I'm okay with that, I could just be lazy 
And I can just bump the tolerance up to 100 and not really worry about it. The only difference is now it's going to slowly color change those other two logos as well. So it's really up to you at home if you want to do that or not. That's basically all we have to do to animate this. It's just going to automatically A, go from one hue to the other for 30 seconds. And it's relatively smooth. That's going to prevent a lot of things like glitchy looks being kind of laggy looking for the video, which makes it a much worse viewing experience. But no, that looks pretty good. So now we actually have to get this out of Premiere. And to do that, we're going to hit Control M to export the media. And we're going to create a transparent video using the QuickTime format, which is a .mov video. And we're going to use the Apple ProRes 44 or 4,444 with alpha because alphas are the best. That's what allows the transparency to happen. And we're going to go down here and make sure that the quality setting for depth is set to 16 BPC plus alpha. It's got to say plus alpha or this won't work. Render it at maximum depth just for kicks. It's set to 60 frames per second already. And that's actually looking pretty good. Now we'll just set the, to make sure it's extra smooth, we'll set the time interpolation to optical flow. We'll use the preview files that are automatically generated by Premiere to speed this up. And then we'll use maximum rendering quality and we'll just hit export, which will then kick this out so that we can view it and use it. All right, so now that that's completed, we can go and see what that looks like. It should look like the preview that I already made, if I can find the right file. So right here it says RGB Overlay Tutorial. If I double click on that, it should pop up VLC Media Player playing our looping video. And yeah, that looks pretty good. There's that little stroke on the inside that I talked about from our previous video. But I'll bet when we put this into OBS, it's nicely transparent and we can use it for whatever we need. So I've got a second copy of OBS open here and I'm going to add a new media source. What is that called? Yes, it's I guess it's literally called a media source. We'll set like OK and I'll go to my output folder under video output. And down here at the bottom will be my RGB overlay tutorial. We'll select OK. And now we can move our looping video of that RGB interface, which you can see looping right here in the preview. You can see it doing its thing, which I think is actually really neat. So yeah, it's just that simple. You can make a high resolution, high quality, looping animated overlay for an RGB effect, throw it right into OBS and it works just fine without having to do any of those other less pretty methods like making a slideshow that's kind of stuttery or trying to put an animated GIF in here using another plugin. This is built into OBS. I don't have any other plugins installed. All you've got to do is make that loop, which I did. I guess I didn't do. We'll make this loop again. That should loop over top of everything infinitely forever and ever. And we'll be continuing on looking suave. So here's what I'm going to do for you fine folks at home. I've actually played around with this earlier today and made the blank canvas version of this image. And I'll upload this to the web for you guys to download for free since it's not very big. You can have it, you can use it, you can add your text to it and uh, go with it from there. This will be in a video format, so you may have to run this through a video editor first to add text to it before it starts to do everything that you need it to do at home. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. This has been how to make an RGB overlay tutorial that's animated, and I'll catch you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and toodles, everybody. It's, uh, yeah, it's really suave. I hope you all enjoy.